We're back. All right. Um, so the thing I was about to talk about was... Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Link. Uh, it wasn't Link, and it wasn't about how Link just decided to, like, try and do a dive into the water. When I very much just want to get across. Uh, the thing I was going to talk about was playing games on Android. Uh, a thing which I'm sure you don't do, given that you don't have an Android phone. Um... But yeah, I've been watching pre-play uh, a tactics game. Down, down there. Um, and that's kind of like a game, uh, it's like a turn-based, think of a more fancy kind of chess, you know. You have characters that like level up and you equip them with different items and you go through a story, but they kind of move like one piece at a time and all that. Let's, for, for, for the sake of this story, uh, Think of it as chess. Um, and so Pri's been playing one, and I used to play some back in the day, but they've kind of fallen out of, like, vogue, I guess? They're not as popular as the genre of games these days. And I used to have a whole bunch when I had a PlayStation 2, so that's a good 10. Uh, yeah, let's, let's say not that much off 10 years ago. Um, and even then, actually, they weren't really new at the time either. They were kind of old. But they were they were primarily Japanese games with the uh, only people who were making good ones. Um, hmm. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, I think I'm good. Um... So yeah, I started looking around going, well, a turn-based game that doesn't require, like, precise controls and you can kind of just... Oh wait, I should see what's in the chest. <laughs> um, seems really good for a phone game, you know, something where you can just kind of pull out, do some moves or get ready for the next mission and all that and put it, put it away again. Hey. Oh yeah, that's right. Gotta get this thing. And I was having a look, and there just weren't, like, any good ones. <laughs> Couldn't find any on the phone. And I'm like... Just seems like such a shame, because, like, they exist, but they exist in, like, this weird... F like, form, where they kind of... Uh... Here you go, jump on top. So you can then get that bit extra height. Um... They, they exist in this weird form where you kind of don't actually have to pay any attention to the tactics. You kind of just put down some units. You, the game basically plays itself and then if you want to... You end up losing energy and the only way to get back energy is to either wait in real time, like hours, to play the game again. Or you buy, you buy back energy with real money to keep playing the game. Which is an unfortunate trend that has happened a lot in mobile games. And so I was looking around on forums trying to see if anybody's like, no, actually there is a game that's like this, that still, that, you know, exists, that you can get. Because um, I was looking for a particular, like, hey, is there a version like, or a game like a game called Disgaea? That was a great sentence. There's a tactics game called Disgaea, which came out, like, probably 15 years ago or something now. And it's not like the be all end all of tactics games, but it was a decent one. Um, and yeah, just looking online, and everybody's like, uh, just download a PSP emulator. So I don't know if you remember, but I did have a uh, place a Sony PlayStation Portable. Um, download an emulator of that, and then get a get a copy of the game, and then just play the PlayStation Portable version from who knows how long ago because that's still better. And surprisingly enough, it wasn't that hard to find a ROM, um, which I don't feel too bad about downloading because I did buy it on PlayStation 2 and on PSP, so I've kind of bought the game twice already. Um, and yeah, and it also just runs fine smoothly on my phone, which even my phone isn't like the most recent phone anymore. Um, and even though the control, because it's like, you know, PlayStation Portable has a controller that's similar to the controller to all the buttons on a Switch. And then, you know, you try to migrate that to a phone. Now you've just got all these 
buttons on the screen to sort of emulate like the direction buttons and the X, Y, A, B. Although, you know, Sony, they're like cross, box, circle, triangle. Um, all that sort of stuff. Ooh, I think he saw me. Oh, he didn't even reach. Ah, I don't want to parry. Yeah, haha, -ha, and haha. -ha. Um, yeah, and so even though it's not got like the best, it doesn't have like mobile optimized controls at all, and it's a little bit awkward to control. Um, because of that, it still feels like a better game to play than a lot of others. And it always makes, and there's the, the other games that I've been playing on mobile. Oh man. I don't want to deal with too many of these. Um, has been Roller Coaster Tycoon. That game which I remember you having to tell me to stop playing because I was playing too much of it way back in the day. I'll just keep you. There you go. You can just stay there. Um, the game that you used to keep telling me not to play so much because I got obsessed with it. Um, I still play it to this day on my phone, and that one's actually got a proper version made for the phone that has like proper mobile phone control, touch controls, and it's still a little awkward, but like it still plays as a good game, and it's just a shame that it still seems that like phone games have been around for a long time now, like mobile phones and playing games on them is not new by any means, and they just aren't very good but at the same time they you know there are big businesses behind a lot of them and they wouldn't keep doing it they wouldn't keep doing them the way they were if they didn't make money so I can only assume that there's a totally different market of people who play games on their phones that is not at all me or sorry not at all a market I understand or can empathize with yeah anyway it's very very unusual. Um, what am I doing now? I would say I need to get to a stable, but the nearest stable is still ages away. Um, well, I kind of wanted to get that shrine, just because I've had it pinned on my map forever. Then there's another shrine. Where is it? I think it's here. Yeah, I think it's in there. There's another shrine there. That's like the kind of just outside the castle. Um, then we need to get the memory in the castle, which I definitely didn't get. Nope, didn't get it. And then we need to do one more thing before we go back to the castle. And we'll call it a game, I guess. Um, I'm going to start from over here because the other place, the other tower that's nearby has all the stalkers. Anyway, that's my very mild rant about a topic that I'm sure you don't really care about. But <laughs> here we are. I felt, felt the need to complain about phone games, which is not at all a hot take. Certainly not a unique one. Certainly not a... Uh, certainly nothing new. Um, but it's... Am I going the right way? Probably. I just kind of assumed head towards the castle. Um... It's just one of those things that I keep getting reminded about, and I keep thinking like, ah, oh, I don't want to make phone games, but I feel like there's got to be a market for making phone games that are effectively just like, don't try to make a phone game, just try to make a good game that like exists, like like ones ha that have existed on other platforms before. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey, hey! You weren't there five seconds ago. Well. Let's, let's get out of here. I don't know if this is going to help me enough. Um, 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 hey, horsey friend, will you be my friend? Because, oh no, you're not going to be my friend. I think he sees. He, oh. Pussy friend, let's get out of here. 
No, fuzzy friend, we're in danger. 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 No, we're not in danger anymore. Alright, bye, fuzzy friend. Thank you for everything you did for me. Whew. Alright. I feel like I didn't handle that very well, and it could have been much worse, and the rivers still look like milk. Um, but that's okay. Um, uh, so what we need, <gasps> we can use, we've got a big old fiery sword. Fiery sword. Hey, easy peas. This is totally safe. It's putting fires everywhere. You still have the combat music? What's going on? Anyway, um, yeah, it, whoops, it's stuff like that that makes me think about making games for mobile, but I also know that, like, that's not exactly a, an easy market to get into. In fact, that's a really bad market to get into, which is probably why things are done the way they are, because those game, those other games are probably well suited to making money through microtransactions and are relatively less effort to develop in the first place especially if you aren't trying to make a big old single player style campaign uh, and story minor test of strength got this in the bag forgot to call it the name of the shrine Oh, I know what I should use. Should use this. Ah, dang it. Oop. 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 Aha, you silly Billy. Whoa. Oh, come on. Oof. Oop. And a hand down. I got a new one. That was a bit closer than what I would have liked, but. Alright, you got all the health back. Is this a special special axe? Ooh, it's gonna attack up. Handy. Don't worry, Mum, I'm not gonna try and start making mobile games. It's definitely not a market. Even if I was a professional game maker, I don't think I would want to try and target it. It just seems very competitive and kind of a race to the bottom in terms of, like, it's very much banks on, like, gambling style things. Um, let's get rid of that one. Yeah. Alrighty. I think I already told you in my last call, but just in case, I was imagining it, or even just to reiterate, um, Metro have said that they do, Metro have indicated that they might want to do some more work, some more, which it wouldn't be much more, um, which is nice, so a little bit more work there, and I have a chat with a group called Coder Academy on Wednesday, which hopefully will go well. It might not as well, um, especially since they said that they don't have any openings for work at the moment or for, for jobs, but I don't know if that includes like assistance, which is actually more what I was looking at um, anyway. Um, so we'll see. I was looking for relatively like low responsibility sort of jobs at the moment since I am planning oh this was a cropping uh you know planning on being unavailable for a month while I'm in Japan and I didn't exactly want to try and start something big and then be like I need a month off in two months or something um you know I was going to worry about big stuff when I get back 
and uh, oh no you look like you're more likely to see me than I thought you might oh I think you saw me oh no oh no alright falling in the water worked better than I thought I was like ah oh, no See, the flying ones aren't really that hard to deal with. Is he still looking for me? He's still all like fired up and orangey. Is that just what they normally look like? Mm. Uh, they aren't that hard, but like if they get all up on you and then they're like above you, you can't like move the camera quickly enough to keep them in view to hit them. Um, so that was lucky. I was lucky that like one shot did only one half of damage. Uh, apparently a herb heals more than an apple, but that's okay. Um, now, where is... there's that shrine. Let's see, it's sticking out. That was the other shrine I wanted to go for. But let's... let's not try to intercept with that flying guardian. Let's see where this... This thing's going. That's what I thought. You're going that way. Cool. Can't remember what shrine this is. I'm worrying that it's like a major test of strength or something. You're not alive. That's good. Katad Chuki. Hmm, sure. What have we got? No stone unturned. That's what I did. And I got a croc. Ah, oh, it's another minor test of strength. Well, that's handy. Good thing I've got my sword. I mean, axe. From my last minor test of strength. Ooh, got a spear. Let's see if I can do a better job this time. Didn't open with your normal volley of. Ooh. Which which thing are you hitting? Ooh. Aha! Bluey. Much easier when they don't have to deal with them shooting at me. Alright. Also, this one had attack up, so that helps a lot. What's in the chest? Is it a knight's bow? No, it's a royal halberd. Hmm. That is better than the light scale trident, but I kind of like keeping, you know, it's a champion's thing. I feel like I gotta keep that on me. Two shrines. Or three shrines? Three shrines. One episode, I think. I can def- I'm like, I'm pretty sure I did that one behind the waterfall this episode. Yep. 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 I'm already forgetting. Alright, next, next stop, Hyrule Castle, Hi Hyrule. Oh, hey, Foxy friend. Uh, uh. Next stop, this chest, and hiding from a stalker. Uh. <laughs> uh, you stay back. Can you even get up here? Hmm. Hmm. See, I've run through here many a times and not had a problem. Usually because I'm on my motorbike, the the master cycle. And when you come riding in, they don't keep up with you. You just like. 
Hmm. I know I said break my way in through the front door. Or you know what would be easier? We'd be teleporting into it like I did last time. Well, I didn't teleport in last time. I had to already get in one way. But going in through the front way is definitely not the easiest. There's a shrine over there. Um. All right. You know what? Let's let's start from here. We'll start from here, make our way around to Zelda's quarters, which is where the memory is. And then we need to do the last thing, the last thing, the thing after we get all the memories. All right. I will see you in the next one. Love you, mum.